What's up everybody? Today we're going to tour my top five neighborhoods in Bethesda that are the most affordable. Now I got to give you some context because the median list price in on realtor.com for Bethesda is $967,000. It's not the median sold price because everything's going way over asking price these days in 2021, but we got to start somewhere. So the five neighborhoods I'm going to take you through in Bethesda have single family homes that you can buy for less than that $967,000. I'm going to tour through them with you. I'll tell you a little bit about each neighborhood. And actually there's six. I added a bonus one because I love this last neighborhood. So stay with me. We're going to jump in the car. We're going to go through top five or six Bethesda neighborhoods. They're at least the prices are under that 967 to buy a single family house. So let's dive right in. The first neighborhood we're gonna to tour through in Bethesda is called Wingate. Wingate is one of the most popular neighborhoods in Bethesda. The Wingate community is located just inside the Capitol Beltway off of Old Georgetown Road in Bethesda. This neighborhood is comprised of single family homes located off Fernwood Road of lots up to about a third of an acre and homes that range in square footage from around 1,800 square feet to over 5,300 square feet, and in price from approximately 780,000 to 1.8 million. Wingate is close to parks, shopping, and downtown Bethesda. Many of the mostly modest colonials, Cape Cods, and Ramblers date to the 1950s have been expanded as families find they want to stay in this coveted area. It's also a neighborhood where older homes with no updates or additions are being scooped up by builders to make way for new construction. Wingate residents love the fact that they are close to both the local elementary school and the YMCA. Most homes in Wingate are assigned to Walter Johnson High School, North Bethesda Middle School, and Wingate Elementary School, but you always should check that with this home school assignment tool and I'll post the link in the comments below. Population of Wingate is about 6,700 residents, average age, 51 years old, homeowners, about 77%. The closest park is Wingate Woods Park and Fernwood Park. The age of the homes range from 1949 up to 2021, up to new builds. You can see here, here's some of the new builds. It's an amazing neighborhood and you can just see here all the different styles, all the different ages in Wingate neighborhood. Next Bethesda neighborhood we're gonna go through is called Wildwood Manor. The median sale price in Wildwood Manor is 775, but like I said, the sold prices are going to be higher than that. Wildwood Manor real estate is primarily made up of medium sized three or four bedroom to large four or five or more bedroom single family homes and there are some townhomes. Most of the residential real estate is owner occupied and many of the residences in Wildwood Manor are older, well-established, built between 1940 and 1969. Although there are a number of residences that were also built between 1970 and 1999. The population is about 2,062 residents, average age 47 years old, median household income 165,000, and like I said, most of them are homeowners, about 71%. Square footage will range from anywhere just under 1,100 square feet up to about 5,400 square feet for the new builds. And the high school right now for Wildwood Manor is Walter Johnson. Next neighborhood is right next to Wildwood Manor and it's called Ashburton. The prices in Ashburton are about the mid 800s. Ashburton real estate is primarily made up of large four or five or more bedrooms to medium sized three or four bedroom single family homes. Most of the residential real estate is owner occupied and many of the residences in Ashburton neighborhood are older, well established, built between 1940 and 1969. Ashburn, the prices can range. You can find something for $600,000 up to about 1.5 million. The square footage is, ranges from anywhere from 1,800 square feet to the new builds, almost 5,500 square feet. Bedrooms three to five and bathrooms also three to five. The school in Ashburton, like Wildwood Manor and Wingate is currently Walter Johnson. And like I said, I keep saying this, but you gotta check the links for the school assignments before you buy a house. 
Okay, so we're gonna leave the Wildwood Manor, Wingate, Ashburn area and move closer towards DC to one of the most popular neighborhoods in Bethesda called Woodacres. Woodacres is one of the most sought after locations in Bethesda. It's like its own small private village. The current prices in Woodacres is around 898,000 with closed prices ranging from 850 up to $1,260,000. The age of the homes ranges from 1941 to 1951, with the square feet anywhere from 1,200 square feet up to about 2,700 square feet. Bedrooms are about three to four bedrooms with bathrooms, two to four bathrooms. The neighborhood offers beautiful brick, custom, luxury homes with a good sized yard and ample parking space. You're a good distance from the downtown area where you can easily commute to and from work without much hassle, but you're still far enough that you can avoid the nuances of city living. This is a beautiful and friendly neighborhood that is perfect for a new home for you. And if you love going to the park or you have pets, then you can easily visit the neighborhood's local park, Woodacres Local Park. It features a playground, two softball fields, a baseball field, a multi-use field, and a basketball court. It also has two tennis courts and a picnic area. The live in Woodacres have a very strong sense of community and they put on lots of events all year long from 4th of July parades to local block parties. The school's present day 2021 is Walt Whitman High School. The next neighborhood is called Bradmore. The current prices in Bradmore is around 850,000 but the closed prices range from $765,000 up to almost $1.8 million. Bradmore real estate is primarily made up of medium-sized three or four bedroom to large four or five or more bedroom single family homes. Many of the residences in Bradmore neighborhood are older, well-established, built from the 1940s up to present day new builds. The square footage can range from 1100 square feet for some of the real older homes up to around 7400 square feet bedrooms three to seven and bathrooms two to seven the present day high school for bradmore is walt whitman high school i think you're starting to kind of see what happens in bethesda because the neighborhoods are older you get the more reasonable price houses with the smaller older houses and then you're gonna see a splattering of new builds, both you know, contemporary and traditional styles. They're gonna go for a lot more money. But now I'm getting really excited because we're going to my bonus sixth neighborhood, which I have to say is one of my favorites. And finally, my bonus sixth neighborhood that I just could not do this video without talking about is Green Acres. I love this neighborhood. It's a little hidden neighborhood that almost borders DC. The current prices are about 879,000, but you can find houses in the high seven. Green Acres is the neighborhood offering an assortment of beautiful styles, varying sizes, and affordable prices to choose from. The square footage can range from 1,040 square feet for some of the older homes, up to around 3,300 square feet. Conveniently located close to DC in downtown Bethesda, residents can spend days swimming and relaxing at the community pool. A warm and welcoming community, Green Acres is known for its friendly neighborhood feeling. Green Acres is a supreme location close to everything while also providing a secluded retreat for its residents. Conveniently located near downtown Bethesda, Friendship Heights, and Spring Valley, Green Acres is convenient to major commuter routes and residents can walk and bike the nearby Capitol Crescent Trail while shopping and several retail districts are just moments away. Westbrook, Westland and BCC schools serve the neighborhood. Friendship Heights Metro is just a mile away, meaning the best shopping and dining choices are right around the corner. Students walk to Westbrook Elementary and Westland Middle while the Capitol Crescent Trail is just down the block. One of Bethesda Magazine's great neighborhoods, known for its tree-lined streets and tidy colonials, Green Acres is a well-established community that continues to delight residents decade after decade. 
is just this little hidden gem of a neighborhood. And you can see that the builders are onto it. There's quite a bit new builds now in the neighborhood, but it is one of the places that you can still find affordable housing in Bethesda. So thank you for touring these Bethesda neighborhoods with me, all six of them. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're thinking about moving to Bethesda and you'd like our help, my team and I would love to help you. Call, email, text, morning, afternoon, night, days, weekends, we got your back. All my information is below. And if you like these videos, please tell your friends to subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.